In this video, I will show you how to work with data layers, one of the methods to load and unload assets in the game. It can help optimize your project or add interesting gameplay. So let's get started. For this testing, I created this simple scene with a wall, floor and gas station behind it. So when I will do testing, if I will go around the wall, from the left or right, this gas station will be invisible. But if I will go through the door, gas station will be shown. To make this work, I added this mutator zone, which will tell when player enters through the door and when it exits. This will activate these two cinematic devices. So one cinematic device will play when player enters it, second one will play when player exits that. And now let's prepare data layer. If you don't see data layer outliner, go to window, world partition, data layers, outliner. Now going back to outliner, let's select Fortilla gas station and right on the bottom we have this data layer asset. If we click plus on it, we need to choose what data layer we need to assign it to. We can from here create new one or select already created one. So I will just show how to assign to existing one. In my folder, right click, world partition, data layer asset. Let's call it DL for data layer and then gas station. We don't need to do anything here. Now back in our gas station, again, on drop down menu, we have this now gas station. That's it. So now we assigned gas station into this data layer. Now back in data layers outliner, right click on this tutorial. This is basically a level name. Mine is tutorials. Yours will be a different name. And now create new data layers with asset and we can choose this our gas station. So now it appeared here. We have in the editor and in runtime. In runtime is, it means when it runs in Fortnite. Okay. So by default, initial state, it's unloaded. So what that, that layers do is you can have them not even loaded into memory. So it kind of saves you memory. Um, and memory, by memory, I'm talking about this 100k limitation we have in the game. So if you have large level and player don't see you far away, or maybe it's blocked by some walls, right? You don't need to load that stuff. So you can save your memory and only load that stuff when player will come close to that. And same time, when you're loading that, you can unload something what again player don't see. And you're managing, managing what's loading and unloading. This is sim similar to streaming, uh, which is disabled by default in UFN. And this is as well for larger scenes, and it's more automatic. This one is more manual, but we have more control over that then. So unloading, it means it's totally out of the memory. Then loaded, it means it's loaded into memory, but it's still not visible for the player. And activated, it means it's loaded into memory and of course visible to the player. Keep in mind, when it's fully unloaded from the memory, and you want really quickly show something, so basically load and show, you will have kind of like, you, you, like depends how many assets you will have, but you can have like one or two second lag, like a freeze. You can eliminate this lag if you will try load not all assets at once, but maybe some kind of like a hierarchical stuff. So maybe when player comes closer to the area, you're just loading some big assets, which can be visible from far. And then when player comes even closer, now some medium sizes and then final just small ones, right? So it's again, you have that control, a little bit extra work, but then you will eliminate that lag, like freezing, which will appear if you will load, like for example, like this gas station, it contains like lots and lots of assets. Or if it's just for the gameplay where you want just enable and disable something, you can keep it loaded. So initial state, you can set to load it. So your game will start with a loaded in the memory, this gas station, but then you can just like show it. That time, then you won't, uh, you won't have any lag at all. 
Okay, so we have data layer set. Now we need sequences to control that. It's the only way how we can do it. So let's create level sequence. Maybe not load level. Data layer, like that. First I will create this one, and then for unloading I will just copy that. So in a sequencer, plus then data layer, we'll right click on it, edit section, and in here we have data layer asset, click on a plus, then on drop down, and we're choosing gas station. That's it. And now desire state. So it means the moment you will start playing this sequencer, it will do this. Yeah, so we want straight away activated. In our case, we want that, but maybe in your case, maybe when you just starting the sequencer, you want first load it, but not show to the player. And then maybe another sequencer will go into activated, or maybe in the same sequencer. So it's up to you, but in our case, we want to activate. The moment we will play sequencer, we'll, we will activate that. We don't care how long it will go, so we can even reduce like that, so it's, uh, I have mine in a seconds, so it will be half of the second, so it doesn't matter how long it will be, because we won't repeat it, and uh, that's pretty much done, so we're saving, exiting that, now we can duplicate, and let's call it unload, and similar as it was previously, just only in here, we're choosing desired state, unloaded. And you see, now it's even right here, unloaded, and save. Now, in a cinematic device, let's now move it up. Let's select first loaded. So, our cinematic device is prepared. And we can test now in a game. Okay, so now in a game, let's come here. We don't see anything, but if we go through the door, you maybe notice this like really small lag, and now we have our gas station. Now, if I'm going back again, in here, again nothing, right? Because it's again, I have second sequencer which unloads that gas station. And again, if I'm coming here, I have a gas station. So you can imagine that you can create really interesting even gameplays with this approach, where maybe player just one time when player comes through the door, you see one thing, but then next time when player returns and thinks like, okay, I know what will be in that room, and it's actually changed because you load it and unload it different stuff. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get notifications about future videos. See you soon!